a no-rise, no-yeast sticky bun? Here we've got a nine-inch cake pan that I've lined with parchment. And so that's what we're going to bake this in. And then I've got in here, so the sticky part. I've got a quarter cup of honey in here. I'm going to add a quarter cup of dark brown sugar. You could use light brown sugar. You could use more honey. You could use less honey. You know, just keep the balance to about a half cup total. And then a half a stick of butter, as Julia would say. Yes. Yes, butter. And that's going to be our glaze. And then you heat it up until it's melted. And then you just very simply pour it into your pan. There we go. Hang on. I will bring this uva to show you better. This is our, our, our glaze. Meanwhile, I've toasted some pecans, pecans, pecans. So, but in the <laughs> meantime, I'm also going to say that um, you could use any nut you want. So let's say you like cashews. Me personally, I would probably use pistachios. Toast them, chop them. There you go, boom. So in here I have two cups of flour. I, I want you to notice how few ingredients are in here. This is three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Um, when I first did this, I had you sift it. Now I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Um, <laughs> half a teaspoon of table salt. You know how we used to do things more fancy back then. A tablespoon of baking powder. This is your leavener. In That's the thing, yep. Right, in lieu of the yeast. So you don't have to worry, is the yeast working? Did it properly proof? Is it double in bulk? Did, you know, blah, blah, blah. So here comes the cream. Now, the only thing is we all measure flour differently. So you could use, oh, this is very cool. I like this. Uh, a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half of cream. I'm going to start with a cup and a quarter. Um, let's see leave some of it in there. And the thing about making biscuits, so remember this is a biscuit dough that's going to be turned into a um, sticky bun, is you don't want to over mix the dough because you want it to be very, very tender. So we're looking for it to basically come together. It's looking a little, well, no, it's almost there. Um, let me see. I'm just going to add another little tablespoon to the sort of side here where I can see a little dry stuff. And then, believe it or not, and this is what I mean about how quick and easy this is, this is done. I mean, it looks terrible. It's so great. It's just like drop biscuits. It's it is. so and great. It, it, you can't imagine that this is a dough, but then what happens, and I'm not going to do it because then I'll end up wearing it as I do in the privacy of my own <laughs> kitchen, but I don't need to do that right now, is then you scrape the whole thing onto the counter and you smear it three times. And, then, and that's it. Yeah. So you just smear it because you don't want to mix it any more than this. And I'm not kidding. The only um, slightly challenging part of this, and it's already been done for me, thank God, is it's been rolled out because uh, you need to get it to 18 by 10 inches. So that is the dough we just had. Because it's so tender, it rolls out beautifully. Um, so we rolled Gorgeous. it out on some parchment with some flour. Um, you try to work pretty quickly. And then we're sprinkling on uh, some more brown sugar, dark brown. It could be light brown if you want. And meanwhile, at the very beginning, I forgot to mention, I added something to it, even though the rest of this is pretty traditional, which is some dried cherries. I soaked the uh, cherries in two tablespoons of either um, dark rum or brandy, and then um, a quarter cup of hot water on top of that. I soaked it, you can see the liquid, and then you just sprinkle these guys on top, plus two teaspoons of cinnamon. This is stuck a little bit, but as Julia Child would say, remember you're alone in the kitchen, so don't That's worry right. about Nobody it. That's right, nobody sees what you're doing except you. <laughs> so you just keep rolling it up. I'm gonna just, and you get it into a total roll. Use the, use the. The parchment to help yeah. you, right. See, this is why nobody should be afraid to cook in the privacy of their own kitchen. Because if, if I'm willing to do this, and Rachel, I know you are too, make a food fool of ourselves on national TV, then... That's the only reason I have a job. <laughs> there, there we go. Okay. Next time, I will put more flour on the bottom. There we go. <laughs> but I'm not kidding. You have to just carry on and be brave. I'm dipping this um, serrated <laughs> knife in water so that it doesn't stick, although sort of we're beyond the pale when it comes to sticking. At any rate, these really do work. Just use a little more flour. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. They're stunning.